today we are going to be watching The Other Zoe. I'm pretty sure I might hate this movie. Regardless of whether or not my opinion changes, we're going to make a bunch of jokes here. That's kind of what the channel is all about. Just cracking jokes here and there. Do not take anything seriously. Let's just get right into this video. One night, St. Valentine reached out. So basically this is a history lesson. Romance history lesson. The date? February 14th. I came into this movie kind of not knowing anything. All I know is that there's a girl and I think that she meets this guy who has like a concussion and she has like pretend to be his boyfriend. No, pretend to be his girlfriend or you know, whatever like, you're into. Because Valentine's Day, it's kind of about bullshit. I like this girl already. Algorithms are smart. Over 50%. Why are we having like a ad right now? I see that as potential. Compatibility. Okay, time's up. Compatibility. <laughs> no. I mean, she's a businesswoman, so you can get some tips from this girl. I'm excited to see her as act as something else other than Tessa, because I've only seen her in After, and I will be making a commentary in the last movie, so keep a lookout for that. I gotta say, I thought that she was gonna be kind of cringy, and it was a little bit in the beginning when she first came out, but I mean, I'm not hating her acting so far. Hey, oh. Hey y'all, are you best friend? Rose infused matcha. What the fuck is a rose infused matcha? Last time you read my poetry, you corrected me on my punctuation. Yeah, uh, you're talking to the wrong girl because I don't understand poetry at all. I don't get it. I'm sorry. What the hell was that? Oh. It was an ad. It was promotion. It was a plug-in. Becca, I'm sorry. It wasn't meant to be. Oh my gosh, she has my name. She just got hit in the head with a ball. Oh shit, it's Rafe. It was fully my fault. How you doing, Rafe? Oh, he's Zach. Okay. Zach and Cody. Zach and Zoe. You just had- Was that stupid? Burns ball in your face. You didn't need to word it like that. Mm -hmm. What's his GPA? Bro, who gives a shit what his GPA is? That's such a stupid question. I'm sure that he and I- Was that pre record Like, not pre-recorded. Recorded after the fact? It sounded weirdly echoey, like she was in a room when she said that. That romantic love is a modern day invention. Oh, and then, she, and then she's gonna be like, I totally agree with you. And then she's gonna end up falling in love and be like, oh shit, it's true. It's a product of capitalism. I disagree with that, but I do agree with the Valentine's Day opinion. I really liked your question. Bro, that's really awkward and uncomfortable. Poor girl, you didn't move. First of all, you didn't move f fucking fast enough. I'm also just a girl. Oh, she knows the words. That's like me with Titanic, dog. Not even a tear? I you want to know what I movie can't. I didn't have tears for that everyone had tears for when we watched it that I don't understand how I didn't have tears for? Interstellar. Go on and start hating me in the comments. But I don't, I don't, something about it. I didn't have any tears and I cry over everything. Like I recently just watched Wally the other day. That had me in tears. I gotta watch it again. <laughs> I feel like I don't even really remember the whole nothing. movie. And then he looks at her like he just farted. Oh. <laughs> That's kind of true. I watched this movie with my mom when I was younger. Notting Hill. I'm pretty sure it's Notting Hill. The big speech in public. I what agree with her what? because I don't like super public gestures. I think that's really uncomfortable and awkward. I prefer it to be personal and like personal. <laughs> Other words for personal. I'm watching Harry Met Sally right now. Oh, I love when Harry Met Sally. I'm worried about her. Why are we worried about your mom? I want her to find love. Compatibility. I just say love, you fucking pretentious little I actually met... Uh, someone you didn't meet him you yelled something to him and he fucking ignored you or maybe he didn't ignore her But he didn't hear you. You didn't meet. He just said something that you liked Zach, let's go. I, re I recognize this from the trailer. There's a bookstore, so I came to get a book. I mean, that's kind of what you do in a bookstore. Textbooks are in the front. It's kind of a cute little bookstore, though. I like the vibes. You have any books on Battletoads? What the fuck is Battletoads? It's a video game franchise by Rare, starring three anthro anthropomorphic toads named after skin conditions, rash, zits, and pimple. What the fuck is this? Sounds interesting. Two choices, the mm. idiot's guide to Battletoads. Battle toads for dummies. Let's go with dummy. Yeah, see, that's what I chose. He, he gets it. She's not gonna say even how much it costs. Did you just give someone your credit card not knowing how much it costs? Games are now the leading cause of divorce. She didn't say how much it costed. You literally just gave your card. Like, you have privilege with money if you can do that. The actuary? Someone who compiles statistics. So, statistically. Did you actually order me a book on that as well? Tied really? divorce. Oh. No. no. <laughs> That's good. Sarcasm is frequently an attempt to deflect one. Oh, here she goes. Have a good one. Did he even get his credit card back? Touche. No, he didn't. His credit card is on the table. Hey, Zach! Oh my god, is she gonna cause his accident? <laughs> I feel like that, that didn't look that serious. Oh my god. Oh my god. <laughs> oh my god. 
Oh, and now he thinks that she's his girlfriend? Is this where it starts? My brain just comprehended what just happened. That didn't make any sense because he flipped over the car in like a non super aggressive way. Although I don't really know how that works. I won't really speak like factually on that. He just passes out and then all she does is pinch his nose, put her mouth on his mouth and suddenly he could breathe. Like she, I think she only gave like one puff and he was like, <gasps> so just keep him awake. Oh, why would you hit him like that after he just fell over? Oh, thank God it's you. Not what you think. Oh, 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 all right. You know what I don't understand though? I mean, I guess we'll see. Cause I was gonna say, I don't understand why she would just go along with it. Like just tell him the truth. I guess that's gonna be the whole plot of why it's hard. Oh, and of course it's someone who doesn't believe in love. I, I kinda need you. I love how in this moment, she doesn't know what's going on. She's just like, okay, this, 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 this man wants me to go with him. I like his acting. He's a great actor. If any of you have seen him as Rafe in Outer Banks, which I do have a commentary on that also. <laughs> Why does that guy look so familiar? Oh, Cloud9. But he played the, well, this picture is so small. <laughs> he played the dad in this movie with Dove Cameron. Really good movie. I liked it, it was cute. So he has amnesia. I wish that I could wake up with amnesia. Zoe. The Zoe. Oh, so they never met the previous girlfriend. So they think that this current Zoe is the Girlfriend. You called 911? Yes. Okay, not a bad setup. I'm not hating this for now. Stick to a stress free routine. All right. We have a family ski trip. Ooh, rich people's. <laughs> You are coming over for dinner. Imagine trying to explain this scenario, this situation to someone. He is dating Zoe. Zoe who? Yeah, see here, here, here's the truth. Wallace, captain of the women's soccer team. So here's the explanation where she finally tells him, hey, you just look like his actual girlfriend. <laughs> Which think about the situation for the other girl. I didn't think about it till just now. Nothing that will upset him are his symptoms could get worse. Oh, okay. So if a doctor tells you you can't stress him out, that means you can't tell him the truth. I'm going to get them alone and I'm going to tell them the truth. I mean, yeah, you could tell the parents the truth. I understand. That's a good idea. You could tell the parents the truth, but how is that going to get messed up? I don't know. We will find out because I know that that's, that's going to happen. It's going to be messed up. I have texted him like, Zoe Wallace, nice to meet you. I don't even know what ghosting means. I hate this conversation. It's so fucking brain dead. You think he met someone? He, he met someone who he thinks is you. You should have never booked this trip. I don't like this. It's ruining it for me like oh you poor rich girl on a vacation and your boyfriend is responding although i will give her credit i will the one thing i will give her credit for is kind of stressing that he isn't responding because she's nervous she's far away and i mean this i don't know how that's gonna how it's gonna be broken down because kind of fucked i do remember kissing um no <laughs> there's a tiny little kid my name's not avery hey avery oh it's not your name her name is amanda oh her name is actually avery what are you talking? No, I, Avery, I mean, no, Amanda. <laughs> Whoa. Your parents might have told her that you have memory. Oh, now I understand she played him. Played me too a little bit there, just a little bit. I'll just be playing Battletoads. Oh, she's she's playing the zits, rash, pimple game. There's something that I need to tell you. I'm not his girlfriend. This is gonna sound hey really guys. weird. So she tried to tell him and he's the brother? This is Miles, Zach's cousin. Oh, cousin. Zoe saved my life. Oh, this is interesting. So now she's gonna like the cousin because they're are compatible or she's gonna be stuck with Zach. Can't believe you weren't wearing a helmet. Well, yeah, I didn't mention that until just now. He didn't wear a helmet. That's his own oh. stupid fault. Never ever get on a bike and not wear a helmet. Mm. Oh, they're so compatible. <laughs> so are you uh, training? Yeah. Who says yeah and goes no? Yeah. I didn't know that we had that in common. She's so girl. You could, I could tell that you're trying to flirt and it's awkward. A strip of land, seven letters. Island. Island has six letters. Oh, damn it. <laughs> Am I in <laughs> wait, 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 wait. It's mess. Oh. oh, I'm so oopsies. I I mean, <laughs> that was good. Who else thought it was Island? Please, please tell me I'm not the only one. Skiing in the mountains this weekend. Do you want to go with us? Uh, yeah, uh, uh, but I'm, I'm curious if she's going to end up with the cousin or with Zach. I feel kind of bad for Zach, for Zach because he has an actual girlfriend and this actual girlfriend is like, they're a thing. So you can't really forget about that, even though movies try, like try to make you forget about that. You can't forget about that. I don't believe in fate. Me neither. Something I actually agree with her. Statistically speaking, like zero. Stop saying statistically speaking. Pretend to be the other Zoe. Yeah, no. I understand what she's saying, but like at the same time, there's a lot of things that make the situation kind of uncomfortable. Have some fun, Zoe. 
I feel like you could at least call the girlfriend and let her know what's going on, right? I actually got invited to go skiing with Ooh, some friends. Wait, actually, you know what? I'm gonna take that back. I don't think that's actually such a good idea because if she freaks out and tries to talk to him and then it upsets him, that can actually be a bad move. So maybe they're doing the right thing. I don't it's know. It's about computational analysis. Why would you want to take a computational analysis book to a ski trip? Is on computational theory. Oh, she's trying to flirt. <laughs> Best books. More bathing suits. I think I agree with her. Okay, not, not, okay, bathing suits and skiing do not work at the same. Hot tub. Oh, hot tub. <laughs> okay. I'm giving you my sexy. That actually is cute. What about Zoe Wallace? Yeah, you gotta, you gotta figure that out. Let's focus on this Zoe. I kind of disagree with that. I think that you have to take that in, into consideration. She is the girlfriend after all. I think it's a little selfish not to think about her. Zoe. I'm hating every single scene with her parents. Now he's wet. <laughs> Oh my god, that scared the shit out of me. What about the license plate game? Isn't that game like known for being boring? Damn, you just got schooled by a kid. Just ignore me. Happy accident. What did she just say? That's pretty. That's really pretty. I'm kind of jealous. I want to go. Can I go on the ski trip instead of Zoe? Any more excitement for Zach and his brain will explode. <laughs> what is wrong with this kid? It's like riding a bike. Is that the best analogy? Now really, it's beautiful. That took too long to get to my head. It's a little insensitive. It's oh. fine. It stops. It we shall. A uh, stop. No, no, no. Sorry if that sounded cooler than me. It's like Cloud Nine, what I was just talking about. This actor is always in snow. The fucking father. <laughs> Why did they cut it like that? That looks so fun. I want to do that so badly. Isn't it kind of awkward that she's with him this whole time and not with Zach? <laughs> I hate when they do this. It depends on the movie. Sometimes they could pull it off, but I... I uh, at least I didn't kiss there. That made me happy because it was like... Like my memory will be back in no time. And then you're gonna realize, oh shit, this isn't my girlfriend. I'm telling the truth. And I mean, you're finally thinking logically, but of course you're not gonna do that because your best friend isn't helping in the situation whatsoever. I understand her intention. She wants her best friend to be happy, but you should always be honest. Uh, that you go. Is she like getting a little love story on the side or something? El corazón. Why is this making me uncomfortable? She literally just answered the door to a random delivery guy and now they're like flirting. It's just out of place. There's no build up here. There's no explanation. I don't give a, like I don't have one care for that character. You mean he's just nothing to me. Like yeah, the best friend, cool. She's getting some happiness, like that's cute. But who the fuck was that guy? <laughs> Bolognese. Did he just say Bolognese? Bolognese. 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 And you guys seem so compatible. If this girl says compatible one more time. My delivery guy just left and there's no rice with Oh, she wants to flirt again. We're gonna have to go through that again. Girl, you need to stop staring like you're in love right there. But guess what we can do? Oh, they're playing charades. Cold. It's frozen! Oh, and she's gonna do something that only he's gonna get, of course. Electric shock. Is she okay? What the fuck? Uh, Up and down. It's time fail. Yes! Of course, I knew he was only gonna get it. I knew it. Good night, son. So he's gonna go to sleep now, and then they're gonna flirt, and it's gonna be super awkward. That the hot tub might be nice. Shut up. Okay, I don't need your tongue in my fucking face. Hated this. This just ruined it for me. This is so fucking unrealistic. This movie was like, kind of like, I had a lot of things I didn't like, but I wasn't hating it. And that just made me, and if you hurt him, I'm gonna kill you. You will never be able to kick. A ball. I mean, that's an interesting threat, but yeah. I'm glad we had our little talk. I thought that they were at least gonna bond or something, but it was just her <laughs> trying to threaten her. I could use a soak. Oh, of course, of course. They're gonna get like half naked with each other and have a lot of chemistry. It's gonna be super awkward. <laughs> yeah, I had some hope in this movie, but after that fucking makeout scene, ooh. You are uh, like exclusive. I'm uncomfortable. I'm uncomfortable. Cut, cut, I uh, cut, cut. You're kind of a piece of shit. Because think about the situation. It's your cousin who you know is dating someone and you're trying to start up with this girl now. That's kind of shitty. Yeah. Am I the only one with morals here? Ready? I kind of wish the little girl saw you because then she could break your legs. <laughs> like she threatened to do. It's not even about the fact that she did something totally wrong because at the end of the day, she isn't actually dating this guy. But it's the situation. You should tell the truth. Get, take yourself out of that so that it's okay to do that. I feel like there's a better way to go about it and this just wasn't it. Where is Miles? I think he's talking to Emily. His girlfriend. I mean, can you be surprised? He's kind of a piece of shit for trying to start up with his cousin's girl. So can you be surprised? She doesn't care. We're Polly. How are you so casual about this? I'm uncomfortable. You're dating my cousin. Actually, I'm not. Okay, so he has a girlfriend, but he's Polly. He thought that she was dating his cousin, so he started up with her anyway, which still makes you a piece of shit. Hey, baby. You okay? Yeah. And now they're gonna bond. But also, don't do anything with him, because he's a girlfriend, also. So it's like, don't do anything with anybody. How about that?
game day. What's game day? Oh, okay. She's trying to teach him chess. I learned chess not that long ago. Queen is the most valuable. I like it. Once I understood it, I actually got the hang of it. But I feel like if I went against anybody, I'd lose. At least I understand it. <laughs> chess is really like soccer. It just hit me the point of this movie. Is it going to be that at the end of the day, it's not compatibility. It's like what you can learn from the other person, what you gain from the other person, and how you guys join together and change each other for the better. I think it just hit me that that's what it's going to be about. Because you know how she kept saying compatibility, compatibility, compatibility. So maybe that's going to be her lesson that she learns, that it's not all about that. What do you think the most important thing in a relationship is? Yeah, you know what? There's just too many things because there's respect, there's humor, there's communicate. Too many things. I'm, I'm really curious see what he's gonna say because there's too many things like compatibility shared interests that is a part of it but you just gotta like each other that else oh, that too I mean, it sounds simple but i mean look at my look at my photo i kind of it, it is true he said it is that simple if you don't like your partner then that's it that's a so it's a tie yeah damn tied i love this game fucking love this game I spent hours playing this game and i have an old version from canada so it's like french it was like limited edition that was like the grocery shopping. Is there a tape measure? A tape measure? Constant in the- Oh, so now she's gonna do math and she's gonna get it perfect. Of course, of course. Of course that's what's gonna fucking happen. Of course, it's of course. Of course she got it. Absolutely no idea what I'm gonna do with my life. Sounds pretty normal. You'd be great at anything. They weirdly look like they could be siblings, right? That just like crossed my mind. Or am I just saying that because they're both blonde? <laughs> and kind of similar features, not really. <laughs> oh, we're making bacon pizza? I mean, it sounds pretty good. I try it. What's the weirdest thing you've had on pizza? The weirdest thing I ever had on pizza that I actually like now is tuna. I never tried tuna on pizza before and then one day I just ate it because it, it was given to me by my old boss and so if you've never tried tuna on pizza, try it. Eggs and bacon. I feel like you can't go wrong. It's bread, tomato, cheese. It's basically like a breakfast. Mm, this is so good. Yep. I'm gonna try it. It looks really good. I'm really enjoying getting to know you over again. Dude, be honest. Be honest. This is like, this is hurtful at this point. That you need more fun in your life. Look at the egg dripping. <laughs> that looks good. Oh my God, they're playing the Beetle Masters game. What is it called? I don't remember what it's called. Yeah, I mean, it's a great way for it. Cryptography, cryptography girls? Cryptography girls? Cryptography girls. What the fuck is he reading? Battle Toads, that's what it's called. What did I call it? Beetle Roads? It's amazing. Oh, he actually is enjoying it. I mean, I feel like you definitely could have been one of these women. Damn, that's a compliment. So he likes the smart book that she gave him. Dude, be careful throwing stuff at him. Didn't he just have a head injury? <laughs> He just bonked her in the head. <laughs> I'm sorry. This feels weird because he thinks that he's kissing his girlfriend. It's not. Mark, hey, leave a mark. Uh oh. Uh oh. He knows the truth. He knows the truth. This is weird. This is weird. This is weird. This is weird. Uh, I feel like I'm having deja vu. Maybe you should have backed away before he went to kiss you and tell him the truth. Because now he just cheated on his girlfriend without even knowing. You didn't that Miles was Polly or that you were gonna end up liking Zach. Although the fact that you've been on the ski trip with them for this whole time and you haven't been honest is already kind of awkward. So if you go until now, it's like, why don't you say it before? It's like you, it would be cute if it wasn't fucking sad. Like I had a wonderful time. So surprised again. Or maybe you're just kind of too judgmental about some things. <laughs> yeah, your mind out there a little, okay. Um, no, nope. I mean, I guess she can't fully pull away because then it could stress him out and he'll be like, what's going on? And that could mess with his head. But at the same time, my hands are sweaty. I'm uncomfortable. Okay, they're trying to be cute. They do have chemistry though, so it works on camera. Like, that's not awkward to watch. It's just the situation that's awkward to watch. You say Zoe Miller, you're Zoe Wallace. That's Zoe Wallace, and now it's gonna blow up in her face. You're my girlfriend. Yeah. And that's just some random girl. Do you hit in the head with a ball? What about Emily? Yeah, we're Polly. What's Polly? Math. Huh? Oh. You're talking about math. I'm talking about math. Are you into Miles? I thought that I was, but I'm not. I'm into you, even though you have a girlfriend. Oh my God, you're the girl from the bookstore. This is, this is, this is really uncomfortable. We all make mistakes, honey, but. Yeah, I agree with her. This is weird. No, wait, but I like you better. What? Did she just say that? <laughs> Did she really just say that? Brain wasn't broken before. Jeez. Yeah, I t uh, for once I agree with that. I agree with her. 
Why did I think that this would be a good idea? Because your best friend convinced you that it would be a good idea. Oh, I followed your advice. Ooh, I Are agree you with you. This? I was trying to help you. I mean, I kind of understand both of the sides, but at the end of the day... ...or romanticizing Prince Charming in your stupid poem. That was hurtful. And I have never once called your app stupid. Yeah, that was kind of... You shouldn't You shouldn't have called your best friend stupid for something that make, makes her happy. That's, that's mean. But at the end of the day, her best friend did give her terrible advice. And when you have a best friend, you're gonna, like, trust what they're saying. You're gonna, I don't know. I feel like that was kind of tough, but she definitely shouldn't have said the things that you said. But this situation was messed up, but I feel like you should have never gone on the ski trip and you should have told the parents, yo. But I feel like if they didn't go on the ski trip, then her and Zach wouldn't have bonded. And of course, they're probably gonna end up together at the end. So I feel like it has to happen. She slept with both of them. I mean, she did kiss both of them. I'm not fucking pregnant. Okay. Oh, they're filming you, girl. Ah, this is so awkward. Oh. Did anyone else see that photo? Could that be any more photoshopped? Like, you could just take the actual photos. Compatted date fundraising page has been deleted. Oh, like she's deleting her app? I feel like you both gotta apologize to each other. You have to go after what you want and be brave. So now she's gonna confess her love to him when he has a girlfriend and it's all awkward. Oh, first you gotta, but you gotta fix things with your best friend before you do any of that. I wrote you a poem. Oh, she's gonna poetry read? I don't understand poetry at all. But you hate poetry. Exactly. Okay, it's a gesture. It's the, I, I, get it, I get it. Full of jubilee. I took the sun for granted. Okay, so I get I get this. this week, she's calling her best friend the sun and that she took it for granted. Please forgive me. What are you gonna say to that? Shut up, you had me at hello. <laughs> you had me at hello, then you opened up your mouth. Now tell me about this guy. Her love story, look, I get it. They wanna close off the best friend and make sure that the best friend also has a love story. So that it's just not the main character. I understand the point, but no one cares about the character. So it's just, it feels like useless. I told everyone my prom date was Ryan Reynolds. So basically she came up to her being like, it's okay that you lied, I lied too, let's get over it. Can you do something for me? Can you please make a website and have this party like live stream, I guess? That's what I understood from it. Okay. Okay, she's gonna do it. I still didn't fully understand. I guess we'll see. It's literally, like I said, it's just gonna be a million lives at once. <laughs> Done. She has no one to celebrate with. Go have fun with Diego. <laughs> I literally only found out that his name was Diego now. And there's only like 10 minutes left for the movie. So if you don't want to go to the party, you could just watch a live stream by a bunch of people at once, which at the end of the day, not a bad idea, but I feel like you would want to go and experience it. Hi, they make a cute couple. If you want to make a gay couple in the movie, go ahead and do it. There's nothing wrong with that at all. It's cute, it's adorable, everyone will love it. But don't just add it at the end just to add inclusivity into your movie. It's like, she's kissing someone and that someone is not Zach. She's a cheater. Or they broke up. We aren't right for each other. What are you talking about? I mean, for once, she, that's some decent advice. You're a science fiction nerd. I'm a rom-com girl. This is true. She's spitting facts. Zach McLaren. I'm over here. I love how realistically awkward that was, because you know how in movies sometimes they'll put that in there and it'll be like romantic and cute and everyone's like all for it? So I didn't, I didn't mind that. You want to pretend to be my girlfriend? Shut up. Okay, I deserve that. <laughs> yeah, I mean, kind of. I, uh, I love your outfit. Thanks, man. Comfort. I mean, I do like them as a couple, so I don't mind this ending. Sometimes it's just a feeling. Just like I predicted. Well, so I, I broke up. Oh, you broke up because I'm in love with you. <laughs> because you're the Zoe I want to be with. I mean... It's a cute ending, but like at the same time, they did what I just said before that the constantly movies always do. Where it's like everyone is clapping. Oh, eh, there were some cute moments, but it was a lot I didn't like. A lot of it was cliche and bleh. Is that it? Are we done? <laughs> you know what? Let's guess. I think that this movie got like a 40%. I'm gonna give it a 40%. Let's see if I'm right or wrong. Oh my god. I couldn't be more wrong. But if the, okay, the audience score, I understand. That makes sense. But the 80% on tomato, on the tomato meter, honestly, though, it's only 10 reviews. So it's like, the other Zoe has what lame film critic Roger Elbert, Ebert called the idiot plot. A plot where nobody does the obvious or intelligent thing because that would end the movie. Thank you, Valerie. I agree with you. It's all played with a cutesy tone that feels like a veil to cover up the fact that nothing about the plot is consistent or motivated in any reasonable way. Thank you guys for watching this movie with me. And I will see you guys in the next one.